Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings and this is how to set up Ableton Live Lite and the Vortex Wireless 2. Open your web browser and type in ableton.com slash live dash light. Make sure the version of the download is selected, then click on download. Once the file is downloaded, go to the downloads and click on the file. Read the end user license agreement and then click on agree. When the installer window opens, drag the Ableton Live icon to the applications folder icon. Now grab a coffee and wait while it installs. Close the installer window and eject the installer. Go to Launchpad and click on Ableton Live. This will then finalise the setup. If your computer asks you if you want to open the program, click on Open. Then wait. Ableton Live will warn you no sound is set up yet, so just click OK. Go to the download folder and drag the file to the desktop. Double click on the file and click on Extract. Click on Extract All. Check the destination folder and click on Extract. Now, click on Setup. Click on Next. Read the End User License Agreement and Accept. Then click on Next. Check the Destination folder, then click on Next. Ableton Live Live will now install. Finally, click on Finish. Next, the registration page pops up. To register and get full access to Live Lite, click on Authorize. The web browser page will open up and you will need to register if you are new to Ableton or else you can log in. You will now need to use the code from the card supplied with your Vortex to authorize Live Lite. For now, I will click on Authorize Later instead. Click on Options, then click on Preferences. Click on Live, then on Preferences. In the Preferences window, select the Audio tab. Set the output device to the computer's sound card. If you have a digital audio interface plugged into your computer, you can set the input and output to that instead. You can then check which inputs and outputs are available. Click the test tone button to check you have sound. 
Connect your Vortex to the computer and click on the Link MIDI tab. To connect your Vortex Wireless 2 to the computer, you're going to need a Vortex, a computer, and the USB cable that came with the Vortex. Click one end, the square end, into the Vortex. Place the other end into a USB port on your computer. Turn on the Vortex, and that's it, it's done. Or you can connect your Vortex Wireless 2 to your computer using the wireless stick and four AA batteries. Simply put the batteries into the Vortex Wireless 2 and place the wireless stick into the port of your computer. Turn the Vortex on and it's done. Under MIDI ports, click on the button for remote input so it's highlighted and says on. Close the Preferences window. Click on Instrument Rack, select an instrument and drag it to a MIDI track. You can now play the instrument on the Vortex. The controls for the instrument are shown in a window at the bottom of the screen. Click on the MIDI button in the top right of the screen so the controls are highlighted blue. Now select a control and then move a fader on the Vortex. In the window to the left of the screen you can now see the fader and the control are now linked. Click another control and move another fader on the Vortex. They are now linked too. Click on the MIDI button again to turn off the blue highlighting. You can now change the controls with the Vortex faders. Next, change all ins to Vortex and all channels to channel 1. Now select a different instrument and drag it to the second MIDI track. Set all ins to Vortex and all channels to channel 2. To use both tracks at the same time make sure the ARM button is red on MIDI track 2. Click on it if it isn't. Press the command key on the keyboard at the same time as clicking on the arm button on MIDI track 1. You can now play both instruments on the Vortex by changing between upper and lower zones. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.